when I have people ask me for advice, I tell them the exact same thing. I mean, I would much rather have a pair of Amphion 218s that I understand really well and that translate really well and a laptop with plugins than have a multi-million dollar room full of outboard and consoles and a pair of speakers that just don't translate. My name is Kalen Inake, and I am the owner of and chief engineer at District Sound Lab Recording Studios in Bethesda, Maryland. I am a recording, mixing, and mastering engineer, and I also work on some production and sound design. But I learned really early on just how important monitoring is in mixed translation. And this started me off on a pretty epic journey to find speakers that I really loved. I mean, I think I've gone through maybe 15, 16 or more different pairs of monitors in the last five years. I've tried everything from NS10s, Genelex, Events, Barefoots, ATCs, Unity Audio, you name it, I've tried it. I actually had buddies who would make fun of me about it because they thought I was just always onto the next thing, the next piece of gear. But it wasn't about that at all. It's just that I knew what I wanted from a speaker. I wanted a full range speaker that was detailed, but not overly clinical, that actually translated. And nothing I had tried up until that point would give me that. The way I ended up on Amphion was kind of a crazy story. At the time I was using a pair of monitors that are pretty famous pair of monitors. They're very hyper detailed, kind of upper mid forward monitors. And I liked them in some ways, but they, just were not translating right for me. So I had a few buddies who had recently switched to Amphion and they convinced me to try them out. So I ordered a pair, brought them in, I put them up next to my current monitors, played some mixes on both. And unfortunately I was a little bit let down with the Amphions. So I foolishly sent them back, got back to work on my current monitors. But over time I became increasingly frustrated with the monitors I was using. Their lack of translation was driving me nuts. So a good buddy of mine, Taylor Larson, he had recently switched to Amphions and he was really pushing me to try them out one more time. So I said, okay, let me just try this one more time. So this time I did it a little differently. I took my other speakers down, I put just the Amphions up and then first thing in the morning with fresh ears, I got to work on them. I did a mix and when I played it in the car, it just was amazing. It blew my mind. It was the best sounding mix I had ever done in my career. And it taught me a really valuable lesson, which is that it's really not enough to listen to monitors. You really have to get to work on them to see how they affect your work, because that's really what it's all about. I started using subwoofers very early on in my career because I've always felt the need to hear as low as possible. Especially working on hip hop music, those really low, low frequencies are a huge part of the energy of the song. The only problem is that so many of the subwoofers I've tried, they were either boomy or ringy, or even if they sounded okay, it really felt like you were listening to a pair of speakers and a sub. So I recently upgraded to the Bass 2 system, and it's been incredible. I mean, it feels like, it doesn't feel like a pair of speakers and a sub, it feels like I'm listening to a cohesive full range system that goes all the way down to 20 hertz. It's so clean, it's so effortless. There's so much headroom and it's just so detailed and accurate. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a subwoofer system. 